What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that fight for freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys I'm going to be showing you how to install LSPFR 0.4.7 along with the new script hook V and there is a new version for the simple trainer. Okay guys? Rage plugin hook. We're going to do it all. Okay, I'm even going to show the window, people that use Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 how to install this as well because there's a couple different programs that those users have to have, okay? So let's get right into this, guys. Go ahead and click that first link. This is LSPDFR. Alright, it's going to bring you to this page right here. You're going to scroll down. You guys can see it is the 047. We're going to scroll down and click download this file right here, okay? So click that, and then you can read all the license agreement if you guys want to, but all you really got to do is scroll down and click agree and download all right and then of course guys we always want the manual setup do not get do not get the auto setup you want the manual setup right there that's the one you want okay so click that bottom one right there click download get out of that and close out of that annoying thing that thing is so annoying it's it annoys me I hope you guys are having a great week so far, man. You guys are happy when you want to be in life and that you're saying this is prayer with God or some kind of meditation. All right, guys. What do you want to do with LSPFR 047? Guys, as always, you can save this to your downloads folder or you can click Save As. And then once your file explorer pops up right here, all right, you can, uh, you can save it to, well, you can go to like, where it says this PC right there. And then go into that and click Desktop and save it to your desktop. Or you can put it in a folder. Um, I'll show you what I actually do. Um, I actually have a main install file for this stuff. Um, where is it at? Right here, LSPFR main install files. So I would open this up, and I would click save, and it would save it right there. You guys can see my LSPFR 047 right there, okay? So let me cancel that out. Cancel that. And now the next one is going to be Simple Trainer, guys, okay? Now this is Simple Trainer for GTA 5 11.0. This is brand new. Uh, it just came out two days ago. All right, so we're going to click this green download button right here. Brand new version of Simple Trainer. They usually always update that when they update, like, Script Hook V or LSPFR. Um, what do you want to do with the Simple Trainer, guys? Again, you can click Save here to put in your downloads folder, or click Save As and put it where you like. All right, once you got that, let's close out of that. And then the next one's going to be Script Hook V, guys. Brand new Script Hook V 1868.1. That's the version. All right, guys, so what you want to do is go right down in here where it says download right here and click download alright and then what do you want to do with script hook V guys again same thing you can click save to put it in your downloads folder or click save as and put it where you like now I do recommend guys that you making a copy of all these mods like the files themselves that way if you have to reinstall it you have them okay you have them for a backup so you can reinstall them if you have to alright on to the very next one guys rage plugin hook okay go ahead and click download now all right, and we are going to click Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy right there. All right, now the only version they have available is the 178. All right, this one is now unavailable, so go ahead and click download right there. What do you want to do with Rage Plugin Hit, guys? Again, same thing, click save here to put in your downloads folder, or click save as and put it where you like, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and cancel that out. Uh, now, these next two steps, guys, are for, are for users who only use windows 7 windows 8 and windows 8.1 so windows 10 users you do not need these next two steps okay all right so this is going to be a uh, net framework 4.8 now this is for people that use windows 7 windows 8 and windows 8.1 okay you're going to go down here and click download.net framework 4.8 runtime okay click that one if it'll ever uh, go through is it going to go through It's waiting for the response, so I don't know why it's taking a while. There we go. All right, so now, guys, what you want to do with this, Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users, this is what you want to do. You're going to save this, and then you're going to run it, okay? This has to be ran through a wizard to install it into your computer, okay, guys? So, again, you're going to save it, and then you're going to run it, all right? So you can pause the video and come back when you're done. Once you're done with that one, go on to the next one. This is also for Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users. Uh, you're going to scroll down here, and you're going to click download right here where the orange button is. And you're going to click 
file name. And that's going to highlight everything, which is what you want. And then you're going to click Next. All right. And then again, guys, uh, you are going to click Save. And then you're going to click Run because this also has to go through a wizard setup. All right. So once you've got that, you can come back. We'll cancel out of that. And last but not least, guys, WinRAR. You've got to have something to open up these files, guys. You can use WinRAR or 7-Zip. It's completely up to you guys. So here is how you install WinRAR, okay? So <clears throat> what you want to do is pick your, your language and then pick the bit in which your computer runs, okay? So, for example, my language is English, and this is where I'm at right here. And I would pick 64-bit, okay? So once you do that, you're going to click, you're going to pick your language, pick the bit of your computer, either 32 or 64. I'm going to pick 64 because that's my computer. And it's going to pull this up down here. Again, guys, you are going to save this, and you're going to run it so it can install into your computer, okay, guys? So now that we've got everything installed, let's close out of our windows, and let's get into the installation. All right? Give me a second, guys. i got to get a drink. Love these, uh, love these uh, Starbucks double shot espressos, man. They're great. Excellent. All right, so guys, now you're going to need your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, okay? And I'm going to show you how to locate that, all right? So what you want to do, guys, is pull up your file explorer, all right? And you want to go to where it says this PC and click that. And it's going to pull up all your hard drives right here, okay? <clears throat> yes, I have a lot of hard drives, all right? Now you want to pick the hard drive in which you installed your Grand Theft Auto 5 on, okay? So I'm going to pick mine. Once you do that, click on Steam Library. Steam apps, common, and then here is your directories. Now, I would highly recommend doing this on a very clean copy of GTA 5 where there's no mods. Like it. your your directory should look like this. This is a clean copy of GTA 5. Okay, a very clean copy. Also, one more thing, guys. I can't stress this enough. Always make a backup of your clean copy before you install any mods. Okay, please listen to me, guys. This is for your future reference and and for the sake of your game, okay? So here's what you want to do. If you have a clean copy of Grand Theft Auto V, you're going to highlight that clean copy. You are going to right-click it. You're going to go down and click Copy, and then you are going to left-click down here on the white, and then right-click and click Paste. Now, it's going to take a little while to do that, to make that copy, but guys, it is worth it. Trust me. Listen to what I'm telling you, okay? Make that copy in case something goes wrong with your game. You have that to fall back on, okay? So, now that we've got that, here's what I want you to do. Alright? I want you to highlight the one that says Grand Theft Auto 5. Not the one that says copy or anything like that. The one that says Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? You're going to highlight that. Right click. And go down to Send To. And go to Desktop Create Shortcut. Alright? There's a reason I'm doing this, okay? So close out of this. Now, here is your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory right here. If you double-click that, there's your directory, okay? Now you can close back out of that. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab this file right here and pull it down to your file explorer. And so it says pin to file explorer and drop it just like that, okay? And now your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is in that file explorer. So you can go ahead and grab this shortcut, put it in your recycle bin, all right? Just like that. Now, here's how you access it, or quick access it through your file explorer. You're going to go to your file explorer right here, and you're going to right-click on your mouse. You're going to go up and find the Grand Theft Auto V shortcut, which is right here. And bam, there's your directory, guys, okay? So now, we're going to get into the installation of this, okay, guys? So here's what we're going to do. So first off, let's go ahead and double-click on our LSPFR 0.4.7. Go ahead and double-click that. All right, guys, let me see if I can get this. I've been having trouble getting this stretched out of the way. Uh, let's see here. So let me do it like this. So here's what you want to... Give me just a second, guys. Mm, nope, that's not it. There we go. All right, let me pull it up. And spread it out. Okay, so here's what you want to do, guys. You just want to highlight every single one of these files right here, okay? And then I'm going to grab it and pull it back over. All right, and then you're going to hold down your control key and deselect license. All right, now you're going to grab every single one of these files right here, every single one of them. You're going to grab them and pull them into your main directory just like this in three, two, one, drop. Okay, 
Now, as you can see, it's loading everything from your WinRAR over to your main directory, okay? And then once everything is installed, everything you currently installed will highlight in blue in your main directory, okay? I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your keys and everything to where it's set to your liking for your keyboard and controller users as well, okay? Because I use I use a controller, guys. See, this is my this is my PC controller that I use right here. If you guys can see that, that's the PC controller that I use, and I love it. I love the Xbox One, Windows 10 uh, controllers. They're amazing. But it might take a minute to to pull all this over because we're we're moving. Uh, you know, it's like it says right there, 1,125 items. Okay, so it's moving that many files from WinRAR over to your main directory, guys. I hope you guys have had a fantastic weekend, man. Um, thank you guys for all your love and support that you show me. I really appreciate it, guys. I love y'all so much. So now that we're done with that, everything you just installed will be highlighted in blue. Now, notice there's a Rage plugin hook that comes with your LSP for a winner, okay? Don't worry about that right now. We have a Rage plugin hook that's going to overwrite that, okay? So once you've got that done, go ahead and click over here to clear all that and then refresh it. And then we can close out of our WinRAR over here. And we can go ahead and get rid of that shortcut. Next up is going to be our trainer. Go ahead and double click your trainer. All right. Literally, guys, all you need is the bottom two files right here, okay? You're going to grab these, pull them in your main directory just like that, and three, two, one, drop. Just like that, okay? And now your trainer is in. Go ahead and click refresh, put it in its place, close out of this, get rid of that shortcut. Next up, guys, the new script hook V, 1868.1. That's the version you should have. All right, double-click that. And then you want to double-click on bin right here where it says bin. Double-click that. Now, literally, guys, we need two files here, okay? So you are going to... Um, sorry about that, guys. So, guys, you're going to hold down your control key and select script hook V.dll and dinput 8.dll, okay? You're going to grab these and drag them to your main directory just like that and drop them, okay? Now your script hook V is in. You go ahead and refresh your directory again. And let's go ahead and close out of this. Get rid of the shortcut. And last but not least, guys, Rage plugin hook version 1.78. That's the version you should have, okay? All right. Again, guys, we are going to grab, we're going to go down to the bottom of this and highlight every single file just like that. You're going to hold down your control key, deselect license, deselect SDK, all right? And then grab these files, pull them into your main directory just like that, and 3, 2, 1, drop, all right? Now, your Rage plugin hook is going in. It's going to ask you to replace the files. Yes, replace the files in the destination, okay? That's what you want to do right there. All right, now that we got all that done, let's click Refresh in here. Close out of your WinRAR. Get rid of that shortcut. Now, the first thing we're going to do, guys, before we get into Rage Plugin Hook and do first-time setup and all that, the first thing we're going to do is I want you to go into your main directory and click on LSPDFR right there, okay? And then you're going to go into, um, let's see, where is it I need to go? Go to the next LSPDFR folder. Now, the reason I brought you guys to this is because there has been some uh, texture issues going on with LSPDFR. So just to keep from that happening, guys... This is what I'm going to do. Right here where it says main preload all models equals true. Highlight that true. All right. And just type in false. That's all you got to do, okay? That actually takes care of the texture issues. I learned that from one of my subscribers. Can't remember your name, dude, but if you're watching, thank you for the tip. I really appreciate it. It's really helped me a lot on my textures. So once you're done with that, guys, you can go ahead and click file and click save and then close out of that. And then we're going to go up to keys, guys, okay? So double-click on keys. Now, this is where all your controls come in, all right? So I'm going to lead you to this as fast as I can. Go ahead and highlight the word none right here. We're going to be using that quite a bit and copy it. Now, right here, guys, below that where it says pursuit menu controller equals down, go ahead and highlight that and just hit control V and paste none in there, okay? Because you're not going to need that. It's going to get in your way, trust me, all right? And then down here for crime report, uh, you want to um, you want to highlight that B and hit Control V. All right, and then um, let's see. Uh, I think that's it for that. And then uh, let's scroll on down here. Let's see uh, toggle duty. 
Let me look through it here real quick, guys. Uh, I can get through it pretty quick if I just scroll through it. Perform a rest. Okay, right here, guys, where I'm at, perform a rest. You want to change that to a capital I. Now, let me tell you why I'm doing it like that. Because if it's on E, it will clash with your stop the pad, okay? Once you install stop the pad, it will clash with that, okay? And you don't want that, all right? So, once you've got that done, guys... Uh, you can leave, uh, go ahead and hide also controller users. Go ahead where it says perform arrest. Um, let me see, do we need to leave that at D-pad right? Um, yes, leave that at D-pad right, guys, okay? So, um, and then down here, let's see, perform frisk, leave all that alone, guys. Let me scroll down through here a little bit. Uh, stop pads, guys, right here's where I'm at, okay? That's where I'm at, at stop pads. You're going to highlight that E and change it to a capital I as well, okay? And uh, D-pad, right, controller users, you're going to leave it exactly the same, okay? And then right here where it says chase abort join key, see where I'm at? Highlight that G and hit control V to paste none in there. You're going to need that G key for your stop the pad, trust me guys, okay? Alright, and then chase abort join, uh, D-pad left guys. You can go ahead and change that to none. Control V. And then let's go on down here. Uh, accept call out. That can all stay the same. Uh, okay. Right here for controller users where it says traffic stop start. Okay. You're going to highlight this A. And you're going to hit control V to paste none to it. Now let me tell you why. Because if you, get a, if you stop somebody. And then you get out of your car and accidentally hit that A button. You're going to cancel your traffic stop every time. Okay. Just bear that in mind. Okay guys. <clears throat> so let's go on down here uh, traffic stop interact guys right here's where I'm at you see where I'm at highlight the E and hit uh, you want to change that to capital I okay and then you also for controller users you want to highlight d-pad right and hit control V to put none in there okay that's what you want to do and then let's see, apartment save, save vehicle, that can all stay the same. Inner garage, uh, D-pad ride, that can all stay the same. Okay, guys, right here where I'm at right here, toggle police computer controller. Okay, you want to highlight that X and hit control V and put it to none, okay? Because the reason I'm doing that for controller users is because if you hit that X... It changes your weapons while you're in the vehicle. But if you're doing that, it's going to pull up your police computer and shut it off. Pull it up, put, turn it off while you're changing your weapons. And that can get a little bit annoying, okay? So let's scroll on down here. Uh, let's see. Backup menu. We'll keep that the same. Keep that the same on controllers. Uh, and that looks like that's pretty much it, guys and girls. So we can go ahead and minimize that or shrink it up, whatever you want to call it. Click File and click Save. All right. Close out of that. Refresh your directory, and then go back to your main directory and click refresh. <clears throat> now we're done with that part, guys. Okay, so here's what we want to do next. We're gonna we're gonna pull out the Rage plugin hook. So scroll down your main directory, all right, and highlight the Rage plugin hook right here. Right click, all right, and then go down to Send to, and go to Desktop Create Shortcut. That's exactly what you want to do. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and refresh your directory. And you can close out of that. Now, you will have a shortcut for Rage Plugin Hook on your desktop now. Now, all you're going to do with this, guys, you're going to grab this and pull it over your, your taskbar like this. And you're going to pin it just like that, okay? That's all you have to do. Once you've done that, you can grab the shortcut on your desktop and pull it into your recycle bin just like that and get rid of it. And then if you want to, guys, you can put your recycle bin and just kind of delete all that. All right. Now, guys... First time Rage plugin setup. This is very, very important, guys. This is this is where you back up your game version, okay? I cannot stress enough about you guys backing up your game version. It is very important in case a new update comes out, like last time, okay? So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and click Rage. Go ahead and click it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this has been helpful. I've had a lot of people asking me about doing a tutorial on the LSP of our 0.4.7. And you guys know i got to make my audience happy. got to make you guys happy, man. All right, so this is the disclaimer, okay? Now, you don't have to read over this. You can if you want to. But all you really got to do is click accept, all right? And it's showing your first-time initialization. 
Okay, now here it is, guys. <clears throat> this is it. Rage plugin hook can back up your current game version, so you can revert to it in case a new version breaks modding functionality, okay? Again, I will explain this, okay? What that means is you want to back up your game version in case like script hook V updates or GTA 5 updates or LSPDFR, Rage Plugin Hook. So if something like that happens, you have a backup version that you can revert back to and still play LSPDFR while you're waiting on the up while you're waiting on the updates. Guys, if you click no on this, then don't say I didn't warn you. Do not click no, guys. Click yes. This is going to back up your game version. Go ahead and click yes. It's very important, guys, to back up your game version. I'm telling you, I have learned this the hard way myself. It is so important, guys. So see, Rage Plugin Hook is creating a backup right now. Sorry, guys, I'm burping a little bit. Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> and then once that's done, give it just a second. All right. Now, here is our Rage Settings box. When you hear me say Rage Settings box, this is what I'm talking about. So the F4 console key, leave that alone. Don't bother that. Right here, it says plug-in uh, plug timeout threshold. It's at 10,000. You're going to highlight that one right there. Whoops. Highlight the one and put a two. This gives your plugins more time to load in to the game, and it saves on a lot of crashes, guys. Trust me. This has saved my life, okay? Now, go over to plugins and click on load these plugins on startup. Click LSPD first response right there. And then go back and click load all plugins on startup, okay? Now go over to game settings, all right? Now right here, let's click on revert game version, okay? Now, you have a backed up version of eight, version 1868.1. Now if something happens, if something updates, you can always come back here and click revert. And it will revert you back to your previous game version. So you ain't got to wait on the updates, guys, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you, all right? So let's... uh. Go right here and click revert game version again on that. And then click command line switches, all right? Now, you're going to scroll down. And this is your DirectX version, okay? If you use DirectX 10, you're going to tick that. 10.1, you would tick that. 11, you would tick that. I have DirectX 11, so I'm going to tick DirectX 11, okay? All right, then scroll on down. And you're going to tick force windowed mode and borderless mode, okay? Tick both of those. Then scroll on down. Make sure you tick ignore different video card, all right? Make sure you do that. Now, guys, let me tell you something before we launch the game. If something happens that your game starts crashing really bad, like you can't get it to work, just come back into this Rage Studies box and untick all these, okay? And then click Save and Launch because I've had that problem before. Sometimes you got to tick them and it works, and sometimes you got to untick them and it works. It's really weird, guys. I know it's really strange, but if your game starts crashing, just come back and untick these boxes in game settings, okay? That's all you got to do. So now we are ready to launch the game, guys, all right? So, um, so what I'm using right now, I can't go on a game with you on this, on this um, program I'm using to record. But I will use another program to record, and I will see you guys inside of the game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so once we are inside the game, you're probably going to start out with Franklin or Trevor or Michael. But more than likely, you're going to start out with Franklin or whichever character you used last. And if you notice, you pull up your map, guys, and you're going to notice a bunch of police badges all over the map right here. See that? So they're going to be all over the map, all the way from Los Santos, um up to all the way up to um you know blaine county and uh there's one over here in the sandy shores as well right here but the easiest way to do this guys is you're going to hit the start button go over to lspdfr and click enter and then go and then click enter again and go to where it says go to nearest police station and click enter okay this is going to take us into the police station or to the nearest police station all right so it's going to take us to the nearest police station. you're going to walk out the door and press either E on your keyboard or around the D-pad to go in, okay? Now, we're fixed to go into character customization. Alright, so here is what you want to do. Where it says go on duty, just click enter. Alright. And it says you need to select a uh, character to use LSP4. Would you like to go to the character selection menu now? Click yes. Click OK. Which would be enter or A on your controller. 
Guys, I can't tell you how many times I've installed LSPFR. Oh my gosh. It, I've done it so many times. So here's what you want to do, guys. Se select the, the gender of your of your character, okay? And then uh, what you want to do from there is you want to go down to Heritage, okay? And this is where you select your LSPFR mom and dad, all right? So my LSPFR dad is Claude. I'm going to keep that the same. Take all my resemblance to my dad. Then I'm going to go up and find uh, Camellia. She is my LSPFR mother. <laughs> There she is. Alright, and then you want to adjust your uh, skin tone to however you like. Alright guys, I usually put mine like about, you know, maybe halfway or so, something like that. Then you want to go back, and then go down to features, click enter. Now guys, you can customize these however you want, but really, like, all you really have to do is set them all to standard, just like this. See that? Set them all to standard. See? And then it's very easy. Now you just hit backspace and go back. Go down to appearance. This is where your hair color, eye color, eyebrows, uh, facial hair, makeup, all that comes in, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pick my hair. Uh, let's see. Um, where is my hair at? Whoop. Right there. That's my hair. And then your eyebrows, I'm going to pick. stay with that. And then you're going to pick your facial hair, whatever you like. I'm going to get the uh, trim beard right there because that's, that's kind of what I got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can do skin blemish and skin aging, but really guys, all you gotta do is gonna pick your eye color. I'm gonna select emerald, and then I think that's it for that. And then click backspace, go down and click save and continue. Now this is where you name your character, okay guys? Now just luckily it has Leo there. I named my character Leo Justice, okay? Make sure your spelling is correct because once you hit enter guys, you cannot come back and change this, okay? J-U-S-T-I-C-E, okay? So, going to click Enter. Click Enter. And then, right there, this is your name. And use, click Enter right there. And you're going to use your character. This is going to take us over to the police locker. We're going to choose our uniform and then pick our car and get out on patrol, guys. We are almost there. We are almost there, guys. Almost there. <laughs> All right. Go down to police. I'm sorry. Stay on police locker. Click Enter. And then go down to Outfit and go over one. Right there's your, your first LSPFR uniform, okay? Then you're going to go down. If you want sunglasses, go down to Advanced Customization and click Props. Go down to Prop 1. Click Enter on that. And then this is good. You click t Use Your Arrows to click your, pick your sunglasses. I always pick the aviators. Go down to Texture ch to change the color of them. Just like that. All right. So we're going to pick that. Then once you're done, hit Backspace. Backspace again. Hit it one more time. Go down and click Confirm. All right, then you're going to go to police garage, guys. This is where you pick your police card, okay? Now, I always get the slick top. I'm going to show you guys how to get the slick top in here. So, here is your, this could actually be a slick top car. So, but there is different cars you can pick from, as you can see. You can pick any car you want. So, I'm going to show you how to get the slick top, okay, guys? Uh, let's go back to, there we go. And then you're going to go down to components, okay? Components is your light. So, if you turn that on, it's going to add the little light bar to it. If you turn it off, it's going to take it away. Take the bottom one off. Turn that one off. You got your slick top right there. All right. And then go to modifications. Go down to apply all and click enter. Go back and go down to select and continue. And that's it, guys. We are on patrol. All right. I've got my controller in hand. Now, here's what you want to do. It will now say Los Santos Police Department. You are now on duty, okay? So here's what you want to do. We're going to pull out. And the way you pull somebody over, guys, and the way that you're going to activate your sirens is uh, control users, you will left click your thumbstick. Just like that. Keyboard users, you are going to push the E on your keyboard like that. Okay? That's how you're going to do it. Now, you would pull up behind somebody like this right here and click the left shift key. It's going to light them up as a red blip on the map. Go ahead and activate your sirens, and you're going to go code 2. Okay? All right, you can hold down your horn to make it move a little bit. Jesus. All right, if they're ever going to go. I hope they don't run because they usually always run when I do a showcase. Make sure you stay pretty close to them. All right, we're going to pull up. The suspect's come to a stop. And we're going to get out. All right. And if you want to run that tag, guys, you're going to press the M on your keyboard and go down to... Uh, police radio and then go down to request records check okay 
You're going to click that. And you're going to type in that um, plate number. So it'd be 64 David Boyd Henry 436. And then you would hit enter, okay? Just like that. All right. And it's going to show you what it is. A buffalo. And it's registered, registered to uh, Raku Antanashi. I guess that's how you say his name. So now you walk up to the passenger window. At this point, with a fresh install of LSPFR, you're not going to have an ID replacement uh, speech. He's just going to say Kiflom. So now, at this point, you would press I to speak with the suspect. Okay. And you can say hello if you want hey. to. Then ask for ID. Kiflom. All right. And now at this point, you can run his name if you'd like, same way you do in the computer, okay? Go to police radio, go down to request record check, and you would just simply type in his name, Raku Antonashi. All right? Is that right? I hope that's right. <clears throat> All right, and there's his, his license are valid, everything's good like that. All right, so he's good to go, so we're just gonna let him go. Now, if you wanna write a ticket, or write a warning, just say, I'm gonna write a warning, okay? I'm gonna go down to issue citation, or you can go down to issue warning. But if you wanna issue a warning like this, you can just put zero, or if you wanna write a ticket, you can put the amount of the ticket and click enter, or just click zero for a warning, and he'll now write a, write a ticket to the, uh, su to the suspect. All right, and this is just all vanilla, guys. Keep this in mind, this is all vanilla style. It's all vanilla, okay? All right, so now that he's wrote the ticket, you would now press I on the keyboard again and go down to dismiss, okay? And the driver will now leave, all right? So now, what we're gonna get into next, guys, is we're gonna pull up our simple trainer, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now, controller users for your simple trainer, you're gonna press the right bumper and X to pull up your simple trainer, or on keyboard, you press F3, okay? Now, you're gonna navigate this with your number pad, so two will go down, Eight will go up, five will select, six will go right, four will go left, okay? Now the first thing we're gonna do is enable our God mode, okay? If you wanna do that, you can, it's up to you. All right? And then, uh, let's see, uh, you can enable your infinite stamina right here. Uh, and then you can put on max armor if you'd like, and then clean your player's clothes up. Like if you get shot and you got blood on your clothes, you can go to clean player clothes, that'll do that. And then hit six to go right. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, okay, so right here where it says show Fort Zancudo and prison on map, enable that with five. Reveal full map, enable that with five, okay? All right, so now what you wanna do is click eight to go up and go back over to this side. All right, and go to set menu, colors font, okay? So now you would hit six on this to go right to pick your color, all right? Let me go back. Uh, let's see, where's that one color I always pick? I think it's Scion. Okay, so now see it's changed my menu color. Then you go down to menu highlight color and press right on that to pick a color for that. As you can see, you can go through different colors. Once you get the color you want, you would select um, five. You would hit five to select it. And now your menu is a different color. Click zero to go back. And then you want to go over to where it says save settings to trainer.ini. Click five on that, click five again. That saves your settings, okay? Then we can hit zero to go back, go down to vehicle options, click God mode on that if you'd like. Uh, right here, if your vehicle's damaged, you can fix it. Uh, right here, if your vehicle's dirty, you can clean it. All right. And then uh, let's see what else. Over here, guys, where it says vehicle load save menu. You can save vehicles with these slots right here, okay? That will save your vehicles. All right, so let's go back. Hit six to go left. You can enable your vehicle speed boost to make it a little faster than what it is. Um, I always enable my boost to make sure that I can catch my suspects. Go up to engine power multiplier and enable that. Then go down to set engine power multiplier and enable that. This adjusts the power of your... Um, Olympic freeway. This is just the power of your car, so I always take it up to about 70 right there and then go back. Then hit four to go left. And then hit zero to go out. Go back up to options. Make sure when you make a change, guys, you save these changes, okay? Go back in your options. Hit six to go left again. 
and then go over to save settings trainer dot ini click five click five again to save it and there it is now i'm going to show you guys how to get your weapons okay to get police weapons so go to weapons down there in your simple trainer hit five and then go to remove all weapons and click five we want all of our weapons cleared okay all right so now we're going to go down to um going to go down if you guys want to you can click unlimited ammo or no reload or whatever um and then we're going to go down to citizens report a hold up Jesus. at uh bob mullet salon and we'll get into a call out in a minute guys i'll show you how to accept the call out and all that so let me let this thing pop up on my screen because it's, it's right in the way of what i'm doing i want you guys to be able to see what i'm doing okay so go down you're going to need a nightstick click five on that all right and then keep going, keep scrolling with your two. Go down a flashlight and click five on that. Then go down and get, uh, here's your choice of pistols. I always get the pistol here and the pistol uh, dot 50. That's the two I get. And then, of course, you want to get a stun gun. A stun, a stun, gun, a stun gun. All right, and now we are going to hit six to go report, right. A hold up, okay. Uh, and we're going to go down and select the pump shotgun, market. guys. So Unit click five on that. Three. All right. And then go all the way down to where... Let me get that thing out of my way again. I'll go all the way down to Carbine Rifle. Right there and click 5. All right. Now, you have all your weapons. Okay, guys. Click 0. Click 0. Go back. Hit 5 to go back into weapons. All right. Now, click 8 to go back up. You want to go back up and over to where it says Weapons Load Save Menu. Right there. Click 5. And click Save to Slot 1. Now, I'm going to show you how to put attachments on your weapons. Okay, guys. So go back into weapons. All right, we're gonna we're gonna walk over here actually. Now go up to where it says weapons attachment and tent menu. Okay, click on that, and this is gonna be for your for your carbine. So you want to just add a flashlight. Okay, click five to add the flashlight array on your controller, and now you have a flashlight. See that? Now you just pull up your weapon wheel by holding LB on your controller, or you can hold. Um, you can uh, roll your mouse if you have a wheel in the middle of your mouse. You can roll that to select your weapons. Uh, so select your next weapon, which will be your shotgun. All right. And enable the flashlight on that. Make sure it's on there. Test it. All right. Then go up to your pistols. Make sure you got your nightstick and flashlight. Go up to your pistol. Go to flashlight. Enable that. Make sure you got it. Go back up to pistol. Scroll over one more time if you got a second pistol. Enable the flashlight on that. You got it. All right, and that is about it, guys. Now, you want to go back and go down to Weapons Load Save Menu again. Click it, and then click Save All Weapons to Slot 1. Now, every time you come in the game now, you can go back to that Weapons Load Save Menu. Click on it, all right? And then you can go up here to load all weapons to Slot 1 and load them. And you'll have them weapons every single time, okay, guys? That way it keeps you from having to get them all over again, all right? So now we are going to get into a call out. All right. So let's go ahead and jump back in the car. Turn your lights off. Now, if you want to force the call out, guys, just click the M on the keyboard. Go down to police radio and go to request call and click enter. Okay. Officers report a criminal resisting arrest. All right. In, so we're going to do the pursuit. Hit uh, Y to accept it. Or left on the D pad. All right. Copy, this is Adam Six. Turn the sirens. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving we're going to grab the suspect real quick. I see the perp. We're in pursuit. Now, guys, if you want to call for backup in a pursuit, uh, you would push B on the keyboard or right click right thumbstick. That will pull up your pursuit menu right there. See that? So I'm going to call for a backup. I'm going to get an air unit, okay? We have units requesting air support. So you always want to get an air unit Russell because the air zone. unit will never lose that Dispatch, vehicle, guys. They'll pursuit. never lose that vehicle. Eagle four. We're on it. Oh, there he is right there. There he goes. And looks like we got him. Alright, so you would get a pissed off at this point. Alright, so he's gonna run. He's gonna run. Alright, so we're gonna run after this guy and try to tase him real quick. Quit running, man. Quit running. Alright, so we got him. Get down, man. Get down. Get on the ground. Get down the ground. I'm going to show you guys how to perform a rest, too. So once he's on the ground. Oh, that's kind of weird. 
supposed to be flat down. That's LSPFR for you guys. You walk up and you would push, you would hold right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard, and it would now arrest your go. suspect. All right, he's gonna pull him up. I don't know why his hands are straight up like that. It's so weird. Okay, there we go. All right, so now to call for transport, guys, or to frisk this guy, you would hold Q on the keyboard or left on the D-pad and hold it down, and this is gonna search him. All right. Now, once you've uh, found what you need to find or whatever, uh, you are going to stand right here next to him, and you're going to tap left on the D-pad or Q on the keyboard to make him kneel down. At this point, you would push B on the keyboard or click your right thumbstick, go up to where it says response, go over to transport, and he's probably going to stand back up. He always does. If he does, just go back, click left on the thumb thumbstick again. I mean, click left on the D-pad or Q on the keyboard. Pull your backup menu back up. Click like the transport. We have an officer requiring prisoner transport assistance All right. in West Vinewood. And that's pretty much it, guys. I don't there's anything else I need to show you. Thought you smart, huh, man? Stupid. Idiot. I bet your breath smells like mustard. Anyway, guys, so that's pretty much it, I think, with the vanilla style. I don't think there's anything else I need to show you. Um, I showed y'all how to pull somebody over. I showed you how to give somebody a citation. Uh, this is how you accept a call out. So when you get a call out, guys, you would press Y to accept it or left on your D-pad to accept it. There's two ways to accept it. Um, I'm trying to think, guys, if there's anything else. Let me look at my, my menu here. If there's anything else I need to show you at all because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, you can also close nearby roads right here uh, by clicking yes. It'll close the nearby roads down. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, and then there's your available for calls. If you don't want to be available for calls, guys, just change that to no. But I always kind of leave mine on. Uh, and then you can change your action on which you talk, your shoulder, your chest. Uh, you know, when you talk to dispatch, earpiece, handheld, which I always do to shoulder. It's more realistic like that, and you just back out of it. All right, so is transport ever going to show up? Great car. All right, so I guess transport will eventually get here. He should be showing up. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Let's get back to our car. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to show you? Oh, right, guys, make sure that you did save your settings. Once you do your weapons, go back up to options and your simple trainer. Uh, and then go over to save settings to trainer to I and I. Click A or 5 and click it again and then you got your settings saved okay guys make sure i'm in complete third person i think i am okay so we got our weapon set guys simple trainer is fixed uh also guys you can change the uh, weather and time as well on this uh there's your time you can go down here and, and choose your time go to daytime go to nighttime uh you can freeze the t freeze the game you can freeze time you can set it to real time duration or you can actually sync sync the time your computer time all right, so where it's daytime in my part of the world, it's going to be daytime on the game, okay? And we're going to go back to nighttime, all right? And then uh, weather, you kind of want to always set that to extra sunny. If you'll notice, it clears the skies up, okay? Or you can go to clear and enable that. It clears the skies up as well, but I always keep mine on extra sunny. I just like it like that. And then once you do that, guys, make sure you click uh, options and click save. All right, make sure you always save your settings when you change something in your uh, file there. Now, guys, if you want to spawn a vehicle from your simple trainer, go to go down to vehicle spawning and go to, here's all your vehicles, but you want to go to emergency. There's your FIB, FIB2. Here's all your police cars. If you want to spawn, say, police cruiser 2, I would click that. That would spawn that police car right there, see? So now I've got that police car spawn. All right, so that is spawned. I don't think there's anything else I need to show you guys. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, that's kind of it for vanilla. Um, I, I really want to show you guys how to uh, report a suspect if they start to run, but you're not guaranteed to get somebody that's going to run. Uh, oh, yeah, there's one more thing I do want to show you guys. Uh, let's see. Is it in this? Is it in this mode? No, I think that's traffic police or that's traffic police where you write uh, citations to uh, parked vehicles, uh, I believe, illegally parked vehicles. Let me see. Anything for you, dog? Let me just try it, but I'm pretty no, no, sure that's traffic no. police. Let me 
democracy. What do you want to look like a colorblind? Yeah, that's that's traffic policer guys. I get I get some of these mods mixed up. Tonight. He got a headlight out. I you know what guys in my personal opinion, I think they need a plug in to where you can pull the cops over. Because you know what I'm saying? Like cops have to abide by the law too, and I would love to do an episode on uh, pulling over crooked cops. I think that'd be really cool. But guys, that is pretty much it for the episode. Um, I know this is going to be a long tutorial, guys, but I hope you guys tune in. You guys have been asking me for it, so here is your LSP of our 0.4.7 tutorial, guys, full length. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, to my channel if you have not already and I cannot drive. Uh, make sure you slap that like button, guys. Give me as many likes as you possibly can, guys. When you like my video, the more likes I get, the more it puts my video out there and it rates the video just a little bit higher and gives the opportunity for more people to see it. So I would really appreciate if you guys do that. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss anything I post, guys. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.